एक बार चाय पी लेना फिर उसके बाद क्रिटिसाइज As a student, if I if I'd say the entire college life, the experience of being with students, interacting with the classmates, and having to build those friendships or you know the 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 sort of relationships that you build in the classroom and in the college, and that has been completely inexistent. And uh, the few friends that we made online also are not we don't we don't talk to each other anymore because this this is the third wave now. Like people are tired, really tired of. Uh, going through this again and again. Since the last one year, we are getting the stipend of increased stipend of sixteen thousand rupees, but that too you are not getting on time. Uh, I haven't got my stipend since the past three months because of some technical glitch or something that happened at the administration side. I've not got it, so I am borrowing money from my family and from friends to you know pay for my rent and other expenses, and. To a limit, I can ask my family, but beyond, say, keep on asking them, it's not helping me, because my financial dependence on my family means that I also have to listen to them, say, about my life choices that I make. So their control is over me when I take their financial help. So, which is one of the reasons why, though I am facing difficulties in staying in Delhi. I'm not moving back to Kerala. JNU में हमको अपने masters के second semester में JNU आने का मौका मिला. That was again a long struggle. हमने DOS पे बैठ के 21 days का indefinite sit in किया JNU SU के साथ. तब जाके हमें campus पे आने का और hostels का hostels में रहने का मौका मिला. ये भी हमारे लिए एक बहुत बड़ा privilege है क्योंकि हमारे ही साथ के our fellow batchmates who are in other central universities उनको बहुत hefty rent pay करना पड़ रहा है to survive in Delhi. Talking about uh, the political situation in UP, yeah, it's, uh, back home things are, I mean, they don't care. I mean, uh, rallies are going on, election rallies are going on, people are gathering, things are happening as they were, uh, yeah, uh, like back back when COVID was not there. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, the uh, it feels like the entire burden of uh, going through this crisis of COVID and you know staying home. Has been put on the students because I think even before the third wave, railway stations were open, uh, the airports were open, restaurants were open, people were gathering, and I I don't know why uh, university was the space which could become a hotspot. I'm not so sure about that. I will have a space, a personal space won't be there. I will not be able to do my academics well if I I move back home. And also there is this pressure to get married, not if not just from you know my parents, also from my extended family, because a woman you know in her late twenties doing her research is something that our society is still learning to accept. This is the book. Let me just see. Huh? Hmm. Yeah. This is basically what my research is on. So trying to see more aspects to it and all of that. Okay, that's what I'm trying to do. And here it becomes very important to talk about the areas which are politically very sensitive. जैसे जम्मू एंड कश्मीर की अगर मैं पर्टिकुलरली बात करूँ तो वहाँ पे कश्मीर प्रोविंस में स्पेसिफिकली इंटरनेट बहुत स्लो चलता है. ऐसे केस में ऑनलाइन क्लासेस भी नहीं हो सकते. And some people suggest, of course, कि आपको घर चले जाना चाहिए if you are facing so many problems in the campus. But then that is not the solution to the problems क्योंकि घर पे भी it is not like घर पे there is a safe environment always, especially for women if I talk about women are women are made to made they have to contribute in the domestic work in any any chance and they have major emotional baggage of the family over their heads every times. Staying outside comes with a lot of baggage. I mean, staying outside you have to save money uh, if you know in case of emergencies and in case of um, uh, if you run out of money somehow so and there is a fixed time when your parents can send money it's it's the starting of the month they can send you money and uh, for some reason if they cannot you have to depend on your savings and uh, you can save if you can spend less that is basic economics so uh, while there was no lockdown. We could access markets. We could uh, buy stuff from, uh, you know, vendors that were uh, selling things for, uh, you know, reasonable rates. Now you have to go to the uh, supermarket chains to access uh, 
uh, whatever basic supplies of food that you had to keep. So in AUD, which is a state university, it is supposed to uh, provide education at a very affordable price, but it's not. It has become a commodity in a state university like Delhi, you know, uh, Delhi's Ambedkar University. So I, even as a researcher, say my monthly stipend used to be 8,000. My semester fees was more than that. And say for an MA student, it comes up to 30,000, 40,000, which has become so difficult. Uh, recently, my father tested positive and uh, like he is the only breadwinner of the family. He, he is the only one who earns right now. So we are all dependent on him. I mean, if you keep all the other emotional stuff aside, there is a financial dependency there. And uh, I mean, that is really a big, I mean, of course I love my family and they are going through a lot right now. And isolating myself from them, not being there for them and you know, not having them for me is also a bit of a concern and I cannot go back home uh, immediately right now because Delhi, you know Delhi has, is a big uh, hotbed right now, we have a lot of cases in Delhi. So that is, that is of course, you live alone, you have to face that. हमारे बिहार में इंटरनेट की जो हालत है गांव में तो बिल्कुल भी नहीं वहां पे नेटवर्क पकड़ती है तो गांव में जब भी जाता था तो वहां पे मुझे कहीं और जाना पड़ता था जहां पे नेटवर्क आती है क्लास लेने के लिए आप समझ सकते हैं कि जब दिल्ली में रह के जो प्रोफेसर हमें पढ़ा रहे हैं उनके तरफ से डिस्टरबेंसेज हो रहे हैं उन्हें नेटवर्क इशूज़ फेस करने पड़ रहे हैं तो हम जो इतने दूर रहते हैं तो हम हमें कितनी कुछ स्ट्रगल फेस करनी पड़ती है और जहाँ पे हम रहते हैं आसपास काफ़ी हल्ला शोर मचता है कोई काम होते हैं जैसे मेरे घर के बगल में क्या कहते हैं मिल एक आटा मिल है तो वो कॉन्स्टेंटली चलती रहती है तो जब भी मैं क्लास लेता हूँ तो उसकी आवाज़ ठक 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 आती रहती है और क्या कहते हैं मैं कोई सवाल नहीं पूछ सकता हूँ क्योंकि काफ़ी सारे नॉइज़ रहते हैं बैकग्राउंड्स में कोविड में पैंडमिक की वजह से रिसेंटली हमारा लाइब्रेरी क्लोज हो गया रीडिंग हॉल्स का एक्सेस भी नहीं मिल पा रहा है पूरी तरह से कोविड का जब हम कैंपस पे इफेक्ट का बात करते हैं तो यहाँ पे स्टूडेंट्स अलग अलग स्टेट से आ रहे हैं जिनके पास एक्सेस नहीं है प्रॉपरली गार्जन्स को पेरेंट्स को तो दे आर लेफ्ट ऑन देयर ओन ऐसे में यूनिवर्सिटी हैज़ अ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी कि वो कैंपस में कोविड केयर सेंटर खोलें टेस्टिंग फैसिलिटीज़ खोलें ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स और पूरा मेडिसिन और डॉक्टर uh, का जो अपॉइंटमेंट है वो लोगों को स्टूडेंट्स को प्रोवाइड करें पर दो साल हो गए हैं पैंडमिक को और अभी तक ऐसा कुछ यूनिवर्सिटी की तरफ से आया नहीं है इन स्पाइट ऑफ जे एन यू एस यूज कंसिस्टेंट एफर्ट्स एंड रिक्वेस्ट टू द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन अभी तक ऐसा कुछ नहीं है कोई कोविड केयर सेंटर नहीं है कोई भी स्टूडेंट यहाँ पे पॉजिटिव होता है तो उसको यहाँ से फोर्टी फोर्टी किलोमीटर्स दूर गुड़गांव भेज देते हैं आइसोलेशन सेंटर में तो उसका भी बहुत दिक्कत है यूनिवर्सिटी एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन के पास हाईकोर्ट का ऑर्डर है टू ओपन आइसोलेशन यूनिट और क्वारंटाइन सेंटर पर वो भी अभी तक देखने को नहीं मिला है हम लोग एकेडमिक कैलेंडर जो आया है उसमें से नवंबर से लिखा हुआ है नवंबर से मार्च तक आपका फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर है जो कि ये जनवरी में जाके स्टार्ट हुए हैं हम लोगों के भी सेमेस्टर जनवरी में स्टार्ट हुए और इस बार के जो बैच आए हैं उनके भी सेमेस्टर्स जनवरी में जाके स्टार्ट हुए हैं और वो चाहते तो दिसंबर से स्टार्ट कर सकते थे लेकिन उन्होंने जानबूझ के एडमिशन में लेट किया रिजल्ट निकालने में लेट किया During the lockdown, what we uh, came across was a lot of students who were trying to take the admission because the admissions happened uh, just before the lockdown. They had to go through the students uh, from minority sections, uh, from uh, scheduled caste, scheduled tribes who live outside of Delhi, had to go through a lot of problems to get their documents verified here. And because of that, a lot of students uh, had to, you know, uh, take a, I mean, their admission was cancelled in the universities. I mean, wo, wo, the least the university can do can do is you know take accountability of that. I mean, they can talk to these students, you know, get uh, get their admissions done if they have cleared the entrance exam rightfully. And the government, I would say, that provides students with basic gadgets. I mean, if you want to go for an online education, get students the access to uh, get students the uh, gadgets to access this online education. There is no free internet, there is no free uh, tablets or laptops to access this education. They have to spend their own money and plus give the fees to the university. That's, that's it I would like to say.